Welcome back to Chats and Chapstick. If it is your first time in Chats and Chapstick, I say go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then tap, tap, tap on that notification bell so that you never miss another Chats and Chapstick upload. However, if you're back for more unboxing shenanigans, I'm about to give you what you want. We're doing a new box today. At least it's new to the channel mix and match box. So, what I will say is that I actually got a mix and match box. Um, about a month ago, and I didn't even bother to record it because it was absolutely horrible. There was not a single thing that I was interested in putting on my body, taking the time to film, and then wasting your time watching. So, I didn't record it. Um, so this is actually technically my second mix and match box. This one was better. Not, not great, but better. So I did decide to go ahead and film it. Um, so if you just stick around for a few moments, you will see my mix and match box. So this is what a mix and match box looks like when you first open it. It's wrapped really pretty. You can go ahead and take it out the box here. And I tried to do it like I normally do my burritos and take a bite out of it. But instead, I thought it reminded me of a pillow. So I'm laying my head on it instead. What you'll receive in your box is an envelope with lots of information that includes your prepaid mailer to return your items, as well as the pricing sheet. What we have is a jumpsuit. And I got a wrap front. Oh, it looks like it has pockets. And it's a pant, pantsuit. I like this print. This print is really jazzy. Next thing that we have is this top. It's an off the shoulder top. And it has gold buttons down the front. A camp, um, tank top, camisole, whatever you want to call it. But it has a tie in the front. Really like watercolor, paisley print. Um, I like the style of it, but I'm not a fan of the print. And we have this, this off the shoulder top. And that corded pool tie and bell sleeves. And I'm not a fan of bell sleeves. It's just very boho. The print is very bohemian this is just bell sleeves are very bohemian and i'm not at all a bohemian person i'm probably the exact opposite of the bohemian style but we're gonna try it on they sent it i love the color in this top with these lacy sleeves again very boho <laughs> very bohemian um but we're gonna try it on and see thing that I am most excited about are these white jeans by Liverpool. They're kind of an off-white. They're not a stark white, but they're kind of white jeans. And I've been wanting some white jeans for a lot of time, so I'm really excited to try these on, which means I'll probably be disappointed because that's always how it works. But that is it. So let's go ahead and get everything tried on. So here's the first outfit that I have here. The pink top with these uh, doily sleeves. I like this color a lot, but the top was too small, had no stretch, and then I didn't like the sleeves. So, um, the next thing you'll see here are the white jeans from Liverpool. I have this problem a lot because I have a big tummy and smaller legs where what is supposed to be skinny isn't skinny. You're about to hear the original audio of my daughter laughing at this outfit. Do you not like it? Oh, I can <laughs> So I gotta be honest, I actually don't hate this top as much as I thought I would. I still don't really like that kind of soft coloring in the bell sleeves, but I'm a sucker for off the shoulder, so I like that. But as you can see, it's a little too small. So Eva liked it, I didn't, um, but I will say it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So that's a positive thing. Again, with this top, I didn't hate it. I don't like the print, and it's a little too small. But overall, I didn't dislike it as much as I thought I would. Um, honestly, if it came in a different print or even a solid color, I would have gotten it in the right size and purchased it. So here you go. So this top actually really surprised me. Originally, it felt a little a little house on the prairie-ish, and I don't typically go for cold shoulder, but... 
I really like this top. I like the colors. I like the fit. So this is the one thing in the entire box that I ended up purchasing. I like this top a lot. So I know we all have seen a snake eat a mouse and you can see the big lump in its body where the mouse is traveling down its digestive tract. I look like a big ass snake that just ate a mouse in this print with my stomach all around like this. I tell you, I know I have a big tummy and sometimes there are things that accentuate it and sometimes there are things that camouflage it. This definitely did not camouflage. It's comfortable, it has pockets, and it might be the outfit for somebody, but it's definitely not the outfit for me. About this makes and match box. Um, it was better than the first one, but the continuous theme that has been on um, both the first and the second box, even though these clothes were better than the first, the continuous theme was that there's a lot of like lace and flowers and paisley and soft colors and it just reminds me of like festival clothes like people who attend festivals a lot and like to listen to guitarist riff and you know sometimes high off the herbs of the earth you know just very whimsical very free flower childy if you will and there's nothing wrong with that style at all the clothes themselves are actually cute they're just not for me so if that's your style if that's what you're into I would strongly encourage you to try Mix and Match Box because it seems like they have plenty of inventory for stuff like that. But it's just not for me. So the deal with Mix and Match Box is that you, if you commit to three months uh, subscription, then you will receive uh, each box for $5. And so that includes the shipping to you and, you know, the package for any returns. So not... A lot to lose at all if you don't like what's in there so I felt like I would give it a try now we'll say I'll go ahead and let my my third box come next month and hopefully it'll be things that are more my style however if it's not that'll be the last box I get because yeah no but um, anyway, that is my mix and match box for you. If you have any comments, suggestions, or you just want to say hello, you know to do it below. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.